guys, it's Kay Lisa. You have the World Worst Podcast. What's up, it's Bill's Money. What's going on, it's Dean. It's good, man, it's Matt. Dates get insane. And today we are joined by, you know, a good friend of mine, a brother of mine, you know, a frequent yeah. collaborator, super producer. Only your friend. You know, got yeah. plaques, oh, plaques on the wall, yeah. six oh, degree studio owner. You know, so many accolades. So so entrepreneur, five. Matt Noble. Matt Noble's Brandon's in the friend, building. He's <laughs> <laughs> the bros, bros. Bro. But yeah, so we're here. Because Matt Noble's here, we're definitely going to... Yeah, round of applause. Oh, round of applause. Okay. We're going to definitely tune into the to the producer side of things within hip-hop. You know, we're going we're gonna to break down, you know, from today all the way to the past. You know some of the some of the best producers and like I said, this podcast is all about giving out flowers. So let's 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 begin with. This man definitely deserves his flowers. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh man, jeez. been putting in work That's for a, a while. Fact. He's been That's working. A That's a fact. <laughs> uh, <laughs> gosh, <darn it. laughs> but yeah, man, we'll start off with let's just go top five with as well with yourself, bro. Let's do sure. top five all time producers. You know, in any in any way if they um. You know, inspired yourself, you know, and and what you what you really admire about them. For sure, I reckon I would have to go with like the fifth was would probably be Wonder Girl. Yeah, um, she the, is hard. The fourth and yeah, third would have hard. to probably be Lex Luger and Southside. True. Yeah. Lex yeah. Luger. Wow. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude. You don't have really, a. They, they they everyone has a kit. A Lex Luger yeah. kit, eh? Bro, yeah. Yeah. everybody I has started, a kit. Yeah. Yeah. I started kit with the start with Mafia kit, bro. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. It's just a kit. The second like, one is readily available, like, kit for everybody to have. To exactly, yeah. bro. Yeah. Plus his, his, um, his tag is legendary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, And his yeah. show with Juicy J, bro? Yeah. Exactly. Don't bro. worry about it. And that sound is still relevant to this day. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's worth that shit. Exactly. And, well, the, my second ones definitely have to be, like, Metro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Metro did that more, I feel like Metro did the more dreamy shit. Yeah, and look scary. Track. Yeah, exactly. And I think he was the one that forefronted that 2000 and th- uh, 12 to 2016 era of like trap. Yeah, yeah, he, he did. He dictated the whole sound. Elevated it. Exactly. Like, for sure. With like more technical shit. Honestly, for sure. And it, it, I think for me, he was like the very first um, producer that I saw on the internet, like doing tutorials with Razor and yeah. stuff like that when I was looking into it. And I like, oh, everybody was dope. on like a MacBook and stuff too, so like he was doing like a whole different yeah. Thing he, he was on FL, he was on Windows, and I was yeah. like, oh, I can relate to that, you know. And my very my top one's definitely forty, you know what I mean? Like from 40, yeah. Take care to like what he does now with Drake, and I feel like I don't even know what he does specifically in music. He's much more than a producer, right? exactly. So I don't like you know he definitely he's, had like, the he's bigger than a producer, yeah. Exactly, bro. Um, he definitely had the vision from like early to like now, for sure. Too, which is like so dope to see in like an artist. Yeah. Oh, sorry, a producer. That, exactly, bro. And I feel like they created a whole new sound and introduced a whole new sound into our ear in that generation. So I'm like, yeah. You know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. What about you? It's so top. Um, man. This is going to be interesting. Hmm. My one's going to be interesting. Yeah. I feel I like I've always wanted to, like, pick this from you, too. From me? Yeah. Yeah, because I feel like you listen to a lot of music. Yeah, it's hard. It's very hard for me. Yeah, yeah, a broad spectrum. Yeah, it's very hard for me to like really figure out like a top five. Um, but I would have to say, um, Pharrell for sure. Pharrell's one. I just think like, like just five or one. I don't know. No, I don't know. Oh, don't I, I would never. I don't, I don't do sequencing, oh, and yeah. my my fives can change. Uh, <laughs> My fives can change often, but um, yeah, Pharrell's definitely gonna be one. Um, Timberland's definitely gonna be one. Yeah. Um, Stop picking all my ones. <laughs> <laughs> when it gets to me, out. I'm gonna be like, oh, what did? They-? Right. That's why. That's why you went so well together, G. Nah. <laughs> no. um, uh, Pharrell. Uh, yeah, Pharrell Timberland. Uh, I gotta give like Dilla his flowers too. I'm gonna R. say R. Jay Dilla. There was a time where all Get I wanted to do table. was like, yeah, all I wanted to do was like make like Listen, five mixtapes with Dilla Beats. Yeah, um, started yeah, on that. Sure. So many, I feel like so many cats have done that too. So yeah. many like, so many like underground rappers that are like huge. Yeah. So like, 
super lyrical rappers have at least rapped to one Thriller track. Yeah, but hard. Then I saw us one Doom joint. Hard. So yeah, Pharrell, Pharrell Timberland, um, Pharrell Timberland, Dilla. I'm gonna do Kanye. It's just it's just too hard not to you do Kanye. To. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. I'm not going to, I'm not like, I, I, I respect 40 so much, but 40 is actually not in my five. So you, I know you'd probably say heart, 40 in yours. He's it's not one. One more? He's not, he's in the five. Yeah, though, yeah, he's not one. Um, and then, I don't know who's number one. I, I'm probably one of those other guys that I've already said is number one. But, um, man. Just chuck one more in the mix, guys. Yeah. I'm struggling. Hey. I'd probably have to say. Hmm. It's such a broad question. Yeah, it's like, hard. And like you can like rattle them off like when you're kicking back, but like yeah, when, when you're, you're like with the homies and like you hear other people's ones, you're like, oh fuck. There's so many yeah, good producers sure. too, man. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, yeah. Like you gotta like this catalogs are such that you're like, fuck, did he produce that? Yeah, yeah like bro, especially yeah, from like, so crazy. old to like yeah. so now. Pharrell, Pharrell and Timberland just so obvious to me because just such the such a range of like jo- like genres yeah, in itself sure. and sounds like, from and, the Neptunes and, and like, like bro now. decades and like you know like Nep- like Nep- brutal, Neptunes literally. like literally dominating like the radio like the top forty hits. And like like I'm gonna just stay with that age. four and like leave room for a fifth. Would I you am. would you include Chad in your top five or no? I mean, of course, because I mean, like Pharrell doesn't. Yeah. Pharrell doesn't see the. Bro, you know, Chad, without Chad, bro, you wouldn't have Pharrell. Not, yeah, yeah. 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 So it's not it's like not uh, even Pharrell raves about. You know, it'd be a, it'd be a, uh, maybe it's kind of can just be a two for one special. Yeah, yeah, I'd, you know what I mean? I'd, I'd say Neptune's for that. Sure. Can't have one with. Yeah, well, it's like um, it's like uh, uh, fuck. What's that group? They're a group. They're um, damn. Justice League. Oh, oh yeah. Justice League. Oh, sure. Same yeah. thing. There's Same sample thing. battles, bro. Damn. I'm glad you bro, there's sample but the t- battles. Like, you can't, Justice you know, League you have to pick them as... Beats, bro, bro. They, they're insane. Holy And they crap. compose actual... They produce, like, the totality of an album yeah. better than damn near anyone. Yeah. And their yeah, show of, like, know. Rick Ross early in the day, bro, and as soon as you hear that bro, Justice League Rick tag, Ross, man. Justice League. Justice League. Fam. <laughs> they were like Harry Fraud before Harry Fraud, bro. Yeah. Like dreamy shit on their like Dude. kickback smoking shit. But it was all super polished. Bro, it was like, so clean. Yeah. Uh, like, and there's like five of them or some shit. Nah, yeah, it's, like, I don't know how they work, eh? Yeah. It's kind of like the du- the dungeon shit down south. Yeah, bro. How yeah, they yeah, all worked. It's just like, I don't even know how, to, how the fuck it even happened. Yeah. I'm going to stick with four and I'll see what you guys are saying. <laughs> That's nice. What, say. what, what do you recommend? Um, number one is JD. Number one is Dilla. Um, sure. He's got to be... He has the best drums, best kicks, best percussions yeah. ever. Everybody raves about Everybody, him, to this day, everyone, if you're the dude, like to me, the essence of a hip hop beat is, it kind of starts, nowadays you probably have the modern sound being dictated by the 808s now, but to me, it's always the percussions. The swing of that percussion. Yeah, is nobody has, nobody has sequences of swings better than JD. So many people um, say that exact thing that nobody has a swing. Nobody like, has that. Head, bro, and he figured yeah. that shit out super early. Yeah, because his techniques, like his micro chopping and shit, I mean, we're, we're talking like MPC days. We're not yeah, talking yeah, like yeah. fucking Ableton and shit. You know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. this dude was so far ahead of the curve. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's so far, literally, you, you had to do it manually. And like yeah. people don't understand if they never made, try to make a beat. That's fucked. Like, it's literally not something that... It's hard to fathom. And he just was so far ahead of the curve that, you know, if he was still alive today, you know, um, fuck, man, it's it's crazy to think what he would be doing. Mm-hmm. Because really, he is purely as a producer because he's the opposite of Kanye's personality. But, like, he is like that... He is yeah. the Kanye type where he pretty much dictates the sound of hip-hop. It just yeah. sucks that he was like cut down so early yeah. from like a terminal illness. For sure. Yeah, you know, shit, and, you know, bro. Like he made like just donut. Like bro, just, no, just no, you no, gotta no, listen. Man. Listen to donuts front to back. Bro, so many skits <sighs> and so many rollouts and shit, bro. Like he started all that shit and like all of that, man. And the tightest thing is that like peanut butter wolf. Yeah, seen that shit and like got him as soon as he fucking could, bro. Listen, like you get what I mean, and and like I think for my top five, if if I want to use, I want to use a song to like, cause you know it's I could just listen to have a listening experience is easier than what I can describe. But if you listen to Cold Steel by Fat Cat, it's a JD beat. It's one of the hardest beats in hip hop history. I promise you that. 
just you just gotta trust me. Check that out, and you you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, number two, I'd probably I gotta go Kanye West. Um, he's just that. He's just that. I like he's this, just G. that that that. Like he's just that good. You know, you could, he's that good. And one thing I love about him is like, I love the teams that he puts together to produce and compose a track. Sure. I love how I love, love yeah I love how he he ne- he never lets his ego get in the way of making something insane because sure. a lot of those legendary albums and tracks if he took it up like now nah, I'm gonna solo this let's be honest he wouldn't have come out as tweaked as yeah. fucking immaculate as they did I still think Donda yeah. is the best sounding album of this year yeah yeah I agree I, as a listening sure. experience like purely the ra- like the range of this the sonically the range that he was about to uh, allowed to do like. I read about like this the other day, Heaven and Hell. That song, I just yeah, thought, like it's interesting. It's this song, the textures yeah. of Doom on there, like oh bro, is I it just... supposed to be recorded bad? <laughs> yeah. Literally, is this oh, trendy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Is this shit's but it was beautiful though. Yeah, 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 like the yeah, new yeah. the it's new modern sound. Yeah, it's still yeah. Yeah. It's like, yo, this shit like I said, bro, it's like odd. A, it's like it's like a punk album, but yeah, like, it's a punk it's album with like aspect, but it doesn't sound like a punk album. Yeah, because punk albums usually suck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you could tell the rushed Not aspect live. of it. The thing Which with is, Kanye yeah, too it. is like he just, like that's what I mean. He he breaks the rules, but he has so much like respect for everyone that came before him and who yes. inspires him. Like that's why he's so good. Like that's why he's so good as a producer. Like he just gives. Like full credit to all his yeah. inspiration, but who he admires as producers. He's and old that. too, though. Eh? Bro, he's, he's been old around. Man. Like, you know like, what I mean? like he's yeah. done bro, around. he's been he's, around he's, a lot. Yeah, he was there working on that shit when that and was the shit to use. Yeah. and he's gone. And my thing is like, of damn near anyone in hip hop history, he's paid. Like, if if you talk about paying dues, he's done that damn near more than bro, anybody, he's bro. Yeah, fucking bro. Hard, bro. He's like his yeah. ghost producing. Yeah. Fuck, he did that for like. You know, mad years. Well, look at you know? look at most of most of his oh, big hits that he fir- when he first started was bro. Jigger, bro. Yeah. Um, Just Jigger, and, sure. and Jigger yeah. wasn't even boosting him like yeah. that. He wasn't even letting him in the show. That wasn't yeah. the game though, like that day. Yeah, eh? like, yeah. Today, like his early yeah. shit, bro. Like Heart of the City and shit. Yeah. Bro, ha- even shit man. Like, bro, shit Heart of the fucking City, bro. Like, the old shit, bro. Fam, like, bro, even my, a joint to get for Scarface. One of my favorite songs from Kanye West is Last Call, bro. Like that, yeah, that facts. Rockefeller, that Rockefeller fucking sample oh. bro is crazy, and he tried to pitch that to fucking Jigger. Yeah, it's crazy all the beats that Jay turned down. That's what I love going yeah, back. Uh, all the yeah. ones he turned down, and it kind of fell in like say Common's lap, and then Common yeah. smoked it. Yeah, yeah, or even like there was that one that Talib, they sampled, same. They sampled. Um, is it real motherfucking G's? The Easy E. Like NWA, but um, and then Cameron pulled it. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Purple, um, purple haze. Yes, and yeah. Kanye fucking touched that album too, bro. bro. Number one. He, bro, fam, he nice touched the whole say, rock. It's nice to be on so much shit like yeah. that. Bro. He, he touched the whole rock, and like again, a lot of shit he was doing and stuff he did not get credit for. And I feel yeah. like he can either make or break you, but it made this dude like a fucking like. I mean, he's he's one of a kind. It, and I feel like he's just that. getting better as he ages. He is getting better. That's the yeah. f- he's like he's like the Rick Rubin effect. Exactly. Like the Rick Rubin effect is like this dude's like a fucking mad scientist now. You know, like yeah, yeah, yeah. science. Rick, that's yeah. It. Yeah. Rick, bro, Rick Rubin is a fucking Jeez. bad dude, man. He's, he's bad. getting tatted on my body. That dude, freaking bro. Oh, right up. Yeah. Number three, white. number three, I gotta give it up to Jermaine Dupree, the other JD. JD, yeah. for sure. Listen, man, this dude from that early. That's a short rain, eh? Is that a short rain or what? Maybe you could say short, like the two thousand. Nah, we're talking ninety six to two thousand and eight. Oh, yeah. Ran shit, like I'm talking ran shit. What project would you recommend for us to listen fam, to? Fam, listen to with like, fam. Look at Mariah Carey's <laughs> top <laughs> three hits. That's JD. Oh, did he do sure. that shit too? Yeah. Oh, that's buzzy. Bro, he that's like sick. more than any producer besides Dre, and I don't consider Puffy a producer. I consider him an executive producer. But yeah, for sure. Besides like Dre. Nobody made more careers than JD. Yeah, sure. Nobody Even made more. Even like jumping on that Soldier Boy shit. Bro, crisscross. He fucking made crisscross and shit. Like what? He made um. Yeah. Yeah. Crisscross. Yeah. Bro, he I made like. They were before him. Nah. nah, he made like. Nah, he made like. <laughs> crisscross, freaking Bow Wow. Yeah, all Bella, them kid yeah. shits. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. He was. He was the the. He, bro, he was making oh, people, man. I mean, he so fa- oh, he made so Chingy. Deaf, he made fucking Chingy. Yeah. That says it all. I mean, Scooter so, Bro- so deaf. Yeah, you know? Scooter Bro- Braun got his first jump through JD as well. Bro, we're talking wow. like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you didn't know that? No, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Scooter Braun, his first job was through JD. 
Dude, Jermaine Dupri. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Screwed up. Yeah. The levels of the show. Bro. Like and 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 uh, like the thing I love about JD is like he's not he, he never tries to go over complicated, you know. And like for all honestly, my favorite producers they do have a lot of layers to them, but Jermaine Dupri is like the one dude that just doesn't. He cuts everything back. You know, especially for R&B shit, because you need space for them to sing. So it's mm. like, I'm not going to make it all messy yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, shit bro, like, yeah man, you got it, JD, bro. And yeah, he never gets bro, talked bro, about bro, like bro, that. The ATL thing, actually, that ATL thing. He never does. There's an ATL franchise. Bro, he never gets talked about. If you look at his credits, you'll be like any, shocked. Like, his beats are good, bro. But the songs are better. Like, that's just I feel you. No, I feel you. It sounds like a 2000s beat. You know what I mean? You know I feel you, but you, like, but like we're talking like had, what, in the moment though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a lot of beats just, don't age well. A lot of beats that are great at the time yeah, don't age well. Little John, yeah. look at bro. Little John's beats, bro. Sure. Little little John. Got a, bro. No, no way. A lot like, of beats don't age well. Bro. Bro, what are you, you know, talking it, about, exactly. bro? That whole yeah. crack era was crazy. <laughs> but like, crazy, it bro. wasn't. G. No, nah, look. <laughs> Every time oh, I listen to those areas, makes me want to cry, bro. Exactly. Bro, my head's already not in the gym. And then what? What you going to do? Bro, what she's called her is telling the dreads, bro. If I'm going to have a fight, I'm listening to what they going to do. I'm going to have a fight. But, bro, what about when, what about when Little John had one keyboard? And it was everybody's sound for, like, that whole fucking... Bro, he used, like, one solely for, like, all of his freaking... <laughs> Every single beat, I saw on my FM, <laughs> on my FM, bro, they done this video on like the breakfast show. You know, talking about um, Little John's beats and like the um, like the, he used like the same freaking sound in like goodies yeah. and a song of Pete Pablo's and snap your fingers <laughs> like the. So we're saying the exact sound, bro. We're saying he's the, the Drake. Fella. We're saying he, he's the Drake of producing. Yeah, the fella. I need to. I need to. <laughs> find, I need to find that look. sound and use it. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing it. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just playing nah, it. look. You know what? I'm, I might have to restructure that. Um, I'll probably have to say three is Dre. I will probably have to say Dre. For sure. Like, like I mean, Dr. a lot of this shit. Or Cool and Dre. Nah, we're talking Dr. Dre. Cool and Dre is man. Cool and Dre is. We can go on, but. Dr. Dre's tight. Bro. Like, like he's tight. Listen, I'm no I'm tight. Bro. Listen, come Dr. on now. Dr. Dre is tight. Let's not let's not nah, he listen, let's not. Compton wasn't. What? Let's not do that. Compton was hard, bro. Compton was hard. Bro. Bro. Wasn't, G. You had For, the, listen, okay, let's just let's just say oh, Compton is the hard, worst bro. record ever made. He still has a catalogue that fucking shits oh, yeah, don't get on me wrong. anybody. Bro, Chronic 2001 is probably one of the best albums Didn't ever. Didn't you probably, ever say probably, bro, it is without a doubt. 96 Chronic? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> no, yeah, probably, because there's a lot of great albums, but that's probably... Without a doubt, there's a lot of great <laughs> albums. Without a doubt, different. there's a lot of great albums. Straight but like, up. that album from yeah, front to back... Yeah, says otherwise, Lee, Bro. Up. Sorry, dead skin. 96 Chronic, 2001 <laughs> Chronic, <laughs> done. If he doesn't make any other music from that point... Done. That's a wrap. Yeah, dead ass. For sure. But like, all I'm gonna say is like, I can understand how he gets slighted because he did have ghost producers. Like, you gotta give Daz Dillinger his props. Right. You yes. need to give him his props. You need to give Warren G his props as well. Shout out and you need to give DJ really fucking cool. Quick his props. Oh, because DJ Quick is the king of all this shit. He's the king of all of this shit. DJ Quick is the fucking king. Exactly. West Coast, Cannot be fucked with. I'm going to add him. I'm going to add him. And then we got DJ Quick look like right here. Facts. Facts. What did you say? What did you say, Ray? I was just saying, do you think DJ Khaled needs his props? For sure. Ah, look. I You're going to look back in 10 years and be like, yeah, DJ Khaled needs his props for back then. Look, it, look, are you, look, listen. Oh my, bro, uh, geez, you're not gonna. Hits, do, you, do you reckon Khaled is the Dre of this generation? Dre, the Dre of this generation. No, 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 no. It's no, like no, the. No. We're not gonna do that. DJ Khaled doesn't make shit. He doesn't make nothing. He's a D. He spins shit. He's, like the he's the tastemaker. What he is, he's, he's the like DJ the Clue of this de generation. He's like the He's the for DJ the song, Clue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the song. That's this really what he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, yeah. is yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, but DJ Clue. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. But he is that, though. You want to get your shit hot, you throw it on DJ Khaled's desk. He's like the new mixtape guy. Yeah. He's easy things to do. He's the. Yeah, nah, like it's not for Because you can throw yeah. it. You can Everyone throw loves Khaled. And, and the thing I think the personality. It's like, the game. Who do you mean? Nah, let's just actually. Nah, bro. Everybody loves Khaled. No, they do, bro. Like, if you. You know what I mean? Like, in terms of rappers that are. That are out now. Everyone loves Calibur. Exactly. It, don't have it's, it's him as a person, bro. Yeah, I know. You gotta, you gotta yeah. think, I know, but that's, you what makes, think. that's what makes people reach out bro, to him. Bro, if we're in a room with Khaled right now, we, he'd probably all end up in our top five after you. I just feel like he's just that guy but where, thing, like, he's a people person. You know yeah. what I mean? But the thing, too, nice like, I mean, you, you know what I mean? And it wouldn't be no fake genuine. Like, he'd just be an. 
He just, I just, do, I just feel that way with him. You know like what I mean? Buddy G in a way. Like, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that should set, but it's why every rapper will. I know well, he, he's not in, but he's not in my top five. He no way. He's, flowers, bro. He's, he's, he's got a brain too, bro. Because one. you could have, you could have hmm? all the equipment in the whole Number world one? access to. Yeah, his yeah. one was Jay Dillon. JD. You could yeah. have, you could have like the access to everything in the whole fucking world, bro, and put it together, and you won't be able to do anything, bro. Sure. Like, I feel like with. Um, with DJ Khaled, he has a mind and he puts certain things together and they work so well. Yeah. Because you can't yeah. tell me that, like, fucking... Because, like, bro, yeah. if I, I mean, had everything, I couldn't do it, but he's not going to be in my top five. But he's good. He's Yeah, he's so definitely he's not good. in my top he's five. He's great. He, he, do, he does deserve props for what he does, but what he does is not this. Shouldn't have used that not this. sample. Yeah, I agree. That was a disgrace. But anyway... Um, let's do your, let's do your it was. Five. The four... The four uh, so I got, what? JD, Kanye, Dre. Number yeah. four. Man... Uh, probably have to give it a frame. Gotta give it a frame. <laughs> Honestly, uh, yep. listen, bro. This I don't know why he gets slided like this. Um, old. yeah, look. The only it, reason he's old. No, it is good. it is because he's old, but that and shouldn't he's, mean he's shit, bro. On the fucking pulse, yeah. fam. He's got, I, he's still joints on some bro. recent pulse, classics, eh? Hey. Like, some, like, is yeah. he on that good kid? Is he a good kid? Uh, bro, he's on damn near everything. He's got credits like, on everything. He's got beat. He's got show off like nah, no, he's got credits. He's got credits on everything. Nah, nah, like, he's he's got Bro, he produces uh, yeah, bro, bro, I was so too. close to saying Dude, Just Blaze. I was saying, I was close Just Blaze is insane. insane. Bro, and he has a, a mate, he has it's one like of the most old, distinctive uh, signature sounds ever. Just Blaze, I think. Don't talk about Hip Boy yet. <laughs> no, Hip Boy's are my, but like, Hip Boy's are new. Well, like, nah, pre, nah, Prem is. Listen, bro. Even a show of like fucking Royster Five Nine and like all that. Bro, all that I could literally shit, give. I could give so many. From scratching to like producing, bro. He's just so hard. Bro, his shit. When he was back in the day on fucking the Nas album, bro. When he had so many fucking producers up against each other. Yeah. But they were all friends. Yeah. And they were just making crazy Q-tip, shit. Lost, bro. It's a fucking era, bro. Crazy. Um. <laughs> I'm going to say, so the reference song for Kanye that I would say is like his excellence as a producer. Uh, yeah, it, it actually might be, fuck, it would probably. It has to be an album, right? Nah, I just want to say oh, one, one record. No, like one underrated song that it's not his song. Okay. I think that's the best way to do it. Do Kanye. Kanye. Yeah. Um, stand up. Lucifer. Oh, that's a trap. Yeah, hard song, hard song, hard song, hard song. Stand up, yeah. Oh, bro, that hard beat. Song. Do, do. Oh, oh, nah, Kanye's got too many, bro. Actually, yeah, he's got so, he's got so many. Did you say Lucifer? Lucifer's hard. Yeah, he's got oh, so oh, many. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bro, yeah. Yeah. Heart of the city, bro. Beans, bro. Heart of the city. Look, I'd probably have to go. That's like like no, no, no. Like yeah, he's Lucifer got some, is like. Nah, I listen, listen. The one song that you want to say like, nah, this dude's fucked. I knew you were gonna say crazy. Good life. Nah, this. The one record is Lunch Money by Pusha T. Yeah. Oh, Listen to that record oh, and you'll be like, this dude is fucked. Yeah, Kanye is dude, fucked. Hey. Yeah, he's actually got crazy bro, range. Bro, listen, no, nobody oh, really knows that song. Bro. I promise you play that song, you're like, damn, this song is nuts. Is that on the album? With, it's a single. Um, it's that, a single. Oh, is it? Single. Oh, so it's and, it gets, and it got lost in translation. Yeah, so it's not on the album much. with Mr. Me Too and shit. No, oh, no, no this is not. Ages. This is, oh, Lunch shit. Money's like 2015. This is around like numbers on the board. Numbers on the board type. Yeah, that song was good. Because like he heard the shit Timberland was giving him with the like numbers on the boards and then Kanye's like, nah, fuck that. Here's lunch money. Yeah. I promise you it's like, yo, this dude's fucked. Kanye fuck. did that again with his fucking album. Yeah, like, with Daytona. And, like, Killed Daytona, Daytona was finished. Daytona was immaculate, like, bro. He's just like, redo everything. Nah. Bro, Daytona's immaculate. Give me a go. Daytona's fuck too good, bro. G. It's immaculate. Is it too NG? G. That, was like, they, that could have taken risks, bro. <laughs> yeah. Um, number th- The fine. record for number three. But yeah, for oh, the yeah, reference fine. for Jermaine Dupri. Yeah, it'd be... Look, anything... Anything um, Houdini or like Mariah Carey and... Or Destiny's Child, boom. Yeah. Like, it's fucking easy. They're layups. Mm. They're layups. Yeah. So, uh, four, Prem. Yeah, look. Yeah. Uh, Gangstar, Speak Your Clout. Mm. I fucking, that's three of the hottest beats ever. And he puts it on one song. Just to fucking shit on everybody because that's Prem. So, number five, the last one. Man, this one might be a dark horse, but... Actually, I gotta I got go RZA. Actually, I gotta go RZA. Oh, yeah. I gotta go RZA. For sure. <laughs> Doesn't have to really be said. He, he's but yeah. he, he's 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 the bro. Everything grimy in hip hop yeah, is him. Bro. Erector, he's him. It's he's him. It's exactly All the what. skits, yes, sir. movie skits, cinema, the cinematic experience is yeah. it's, it's RZA. His mind's different. He's bro. fucked. He's honestly fucked. And without him, he, he 
birthed half. Right, he birthed time, all this man. shit, bro. Yeah, that all is. this shit. So it's Rizza. Um, he's really the only dude that like for in, like an in-house team producer that I actually really really rate and say he's worth it because like he didn't produce script, for man. one dude he was catering for so many guys oh, so many different styles and he made it work and i don't know that how. Mind, bro. give me five years of your life bro he oh. was insane and, and he could spit his ass off too back in his, in his prime, in his prime. i think his is his best yeah. his most like the record that i'm like check this shit out is probably um hell wind stuff by by Wu. Bro, he Hard actually released Hellwind a meditation Staff. album. But yeah, he did, yeah. Uh, Hellwind uh, Staff is like... Hellwind Staff is such, is, a off, such an off song for someone to say, bro. But that's... Yeah, G, but I get it. it man, yeah, G. listen, bro. You but, play that song. Raekwon's verse is fucked. You just play the record and you... I don't need yeah, to say anything more. Side note, his character on the Wu-Tang series, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. He sounds like a freaking robot, bro. Yeah, but that's how he really sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's how he really sounds. He sounds... But I'm trying... To what I'm trying to Yo, say. It's the RZA. <laughs> it's Wu-Tang. No. Yeah, bro. Just for you. That's, that's, that's my top right. five. All right, we'll, go, we'll head over to, to the other map. I want to see this one. I want to see this one. I'm curious yeah. to hear, bro. Crazy. It's basic, bro. Timberland is number one for me. That, this number is, one? This is, yeah, this is in terms of influence, what influenced me as a, like what I was into when yeah. I was young. Timberland, bro. It was fucking JT albums. Yeah, the JT oh, John. Sure. So just all of the JT shit, shit. Missy bro, shit. Were you one of those people that Nelly Furtado? Mm. Yeah, 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 bro. The bro, bro like, joints. Were you one of those Man eater. People, were you one of those people that tried to remake that shit? Absolutely, <laughs> for sure. Even like, with his ad libs and shit, I was doing all that shit. Yeah. He had the hardest ad libs. Too. Yeah, bro. He was on like yeah. four songs, yeah. eh? Like, yeah, he was, like yeah, yeah. bro, but he was like, yeah, he's beatboxing on the. And how yeah. yeah. like he like yeah. yeah. like his voice was always. Crowdy River was the first song I heard. I heard like I heard it somewhere, and I was like, "What is this?" Yeah. 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 And then there was like, bro. yeah, bro, structure to a song. Oh, whoa. What goes around? What goes around? Oh my god, man. Aliyah is Aliyah stuff. I'm sorry, but that he had Aliyah, bro. That Amari beat is crazy too. Oh, that's just that's just that just opened up a new like that opened up a whole new chapter. Which one? Amari for J Cole. Yeah, that's like his second. Like for me, that that made like that opened up a whole new chapter. And it's like, what's that on? On on Cole's latest album. Oh bullshit! Yeah, bro, it's crazy, bro. It's like it it is. It's just like it's just like another like piece to the puzzle where you're just like wow like <laughs> he's just classic it. timeless yeah. bro and yeah, I, it's Tim, crazy Timber how like J. Cole apparently ripped that beat off a Twitch stream yeah, yeah. and rapped over it and apparently Timberland didn't even save that beat yeah and he had yeah. to like remake, remake it, it. Save it. That's, yeah. Nuts. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's nuts yeah that's nuts he would have done that bro like yeah yeah bro. crazy he's nuts so I remember watching like watching him on freaking Fades of Black yeah, the Jay Z Oh yeah, with the big drums. Oh, when he when he's showing when he's showing, 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 showing him the BJ, ain't and, got no bounce. And he's just throwing it. Yeah, yeah, doing a bounce. Got no bounce. Yeah, right. And he's yeah, just yeah, yeah, flicking, bro. He's got like the biggest bottle of milk, G. But bro, he's flicking, he's flicking through beats that like end up being like hits for Buster and shit, bro. Luda, yeah, bro. Bro, he gave Missy a fuck. Those Missy joints are unreal. Oh, yeah, bro. Bro, they're Missy, ridiculous. Yeah. Bro, Missy, her Bust. fucking Ali. Missy, yeah. Yeah. Missy needs bro. her flowers. Boom. Yeah, bro. Missy's hot. Like, yeah. I want to see her in the verses next. All her beats are hard. Yeah. 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 She gave a lot of people, but like, yeah, Missy. Yeah. 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 Missy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, the main ones at the end. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Timbaland. Timbaland is definitely, definitely good. Yeah, bro. Timbaland won, but his, like, Shock Value album, that was some shit I got into hot out. Shock Value, Shock Value 2. Bounce was crazy. Yeah, all that shit, bro. It was like a Khaled album before yeah. Khaled albums. Like yeah. Everybody was on it. You know, well, I remember he made a, he sponsored a game on PSP and that's how I found out who Timberland was. It's called the Beta Raider. Yeah. And yeah. you sort of like, it's like a, oh, yeah. a guitar hero thing for PSP. Mm. And it's like, to, the cover is like Timberland and it's like, you make a beat on it. Yeah, bro. I remember that's headphones on shit. Like, yeah. Uh, Even as two uh, for real on the game. For real. For real, yeah. yeah. For real. Which on the game is hard. Yeah. What, song yeah. what song for? Put you on game. For yeah. Probably I'm like hard. the first shit I heard would have been like maybe beautiful or some shit. Yeah, had just that. Beautiful is crazy. Yeah. He, he hates bro. that song, bro. For he hates it. Yeah. He reckons that like he was singing like super flat and oh, he yeah. realized why hard. people liked it so much. But that's it's probably so hard, it's bro. probably just because of hit, hit, but like it, his, the singing he made it. He's singing in blue, not pink. Yeah. 
when he was True. singing that shit. Um, other song from him, fucking. I didn't know when I was a kid, but I used to watch his NBA tapes all the time. And there was um, Rum Shaker. Yep. Shake the Rum. Mm, yeah, Shake the Rum yeah. Shaker. Boom, boom. Yeah. Bro. And that was produced by him when he was like 16. Yeah. Apparently. Right around like, Shining with clips. Yeah. That is dumb. Bro, Mr. Me Too? Mr. Me Too. Mr. Me Too. Fuck, bro. Oh, Rum Shaker. And he bro, made, these, that, made when, these beats when they were young. Bro, like, when the hi hats come in, G. Oh, when the Shaker comes in, G. Ugly that's ass beats. One of the hardest beats. Bro. The southern, like, the southern sound. But they're like, immaculate, though. Bro, they bump yeah, yeah, so yeah, hard. It's hot, bro. Mm. Yeah. Bro, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard, G. Yeah. 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 Bro, that was all those beats on that album. All those beats on that album. Those beats catch you if you're not even a producer. You're like, what is this? Didn't he do Hot in Here as well? Yeah. Oh, but like yeah, the thing okay. on those no, clips yeah, joints, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, the thing on those clips joints, he didn't use a single sample. That was wow. his flex. That was his yeah. flex. He's like, I see everybody biting the samples. I'm not going to use none. Wow. I'm going to use all organics. And he and he started making like when he made, uh, yeah, Mister Me Too, the whole thing. And bro, I was like, bro, you bro, I can't girl, believe this you guy. You know when it's Hollow Pharrell that's girl? producing that beat, eh? Like, oh yeah. And like him and Gwen Stefani gelled so well, bro. Like it was retarded. But that's the thing. I have. I have, like, I'm fully in love with fucking Gwen Stefani. What's her back? Big facts. She's still good though. Big facts. <laughs> bro, bro. I don't give a damn. Yeah, she but that's the thing with Pharrell and Timberland. Like, like it, you, you, you see dynamic, like, they have many dynamic duos. Like, yeah. they both have one with, with, with Justin Timberlake. Yes. They both have one with Hove. With Nelly. Yeah. Yes. And the, yeah, like, they just yeah. encapture, like, the artists that they work with, like, perfectly. But they tap into really good feminine energy music. Mm. Like, yeah. better than any yeah, other hip hop producers that I know. Like, Khalees? Yes. Bro, milkshake, like, get fucked. But like, bro. yeah, but it's like, that, how did they, bro. yeah, bro. how did they get crazy that, thing. yeah. Crazy, and yeah. Like, yeah. it's yeah. hard, but it's feminine, you know, even like, old chicks want to jump on it. Even yeah. that old dirty bastard joint, um, with fucking, Mar- Where's My Money, with, yeah, Kelly, with Kelly, yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh. then like, I remember, I, I've seen like a video, I don't know if it was on like the docker or not, but it was like, um, the Neptunes and they were in the booth and they are like, yo, dirty, just talk shit at the end. And he's like, ooh, ah, singing, bro, <laughs> drunk ass at the end of that fucking song, bro. <laughs> bro, I, that, I, lo- bro, I fucking wish he was still here, man. That motherfucker. Legend, bro. It's the legend. G, bro. Legend. Three will put Kanye. Kanye. Um, yeah. yeah. What song? Um, Fuck. 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 Bro, it would have been like around. Jesus Walks. Yeah, maybe Jesus Walks when shit was on TV and shit. Diamonds from Sierra. Dream, um, the game joint, dreams, oh. dreams, yeah, super yeah. hard, super yeah. dumb hard. Who was saying that? And yeah, I, f- I think I like got onto Kanye. Um, I forget what album would have been, bro. It was in like two thousand eight type shit. You know, mm. Eight always. Nah, before that. Graduation. Uh, graduation. Yeah, must be graduation. Because that. Yeah, that, that, that song they had with Adam Levine. Bangers, bro. That massive bangers. Oh, yeah. God, Mr. West. Mr. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember yeah. that bro, on? That song, as, as uh. pop as it was, fuck, it's so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so yeah, good, bro. though. And the video was on TV and shit. Same with Homecoming. It like, yeah. It's poppy, but it's yeah. like... But Kanye's oh. got way more, bro. He's right. got way more the than weirdest like, experience. Way more than all of them, yeah. yeah. Bro, the weirdest experience I had was when I seen him live um, for Yeezus, and I, uh, he played uh, When It All Falls Down. Bro, I was, like, cause you just, don't, bro, it's Jesus time. Yeah. So the last thing you yeah. expect is him for him to do yeah. when it all falls down. Bro, it was like the now, like, yeah. bro, I've never felt anything like watching someone like, live apart from when I seen him do when, when it all falls yeah. down. Like it's all the all closest down, you could be to like, to like being in the crowd and just like, as a man just trying to hold back tears. Eh, just <laughs> like, oh, yeah. tears? Nah, if we if we played family business, I would have. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you remember yeah, the time where um, he dropped this mixtape called um, it's like the Soul Mixtape or something? And he dropped a bunch of... Um, oh, the one with like, the go-getters on it? All the shit? samples and stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. that he used, I think, for graduation or something. Uh, yeah, crazy. look into it. It's so dope, man. Like It's like so. 10 um, tracks of samples. Like It has um, Through the Wire and stuff like that, Com- Common Man and everything. Mm. And it, that mixtape alone was like, damn, like he used all this in his album. Yeah. Bro. And he chop, it's like all chopping. I want to get into you know, vinyl and that. Another immaculate song by Kanye, Faithful by Common. Bro, that record is dumb hard. I have to hear it back. Like the vocal, bro. Yeah, like he uses that. vocal, the sample loop he uses for the vocals is like, and Common just killed He's me. probably the best at sampling. Honestly, is he the yeah. one? I got, brought, I got JD and Madlib ahead of him. Is like he the, is he the guy that brought vocal samples into hip hop? 
He's the one nah, who. Nah, Vocal nah. Samples has always been a part always of been, it. Always been. He's the one who. Vocal Samples and, moved to EDM. In yeah. my like, opinion, he's the one who brought it back because it was all gangster shit. And then he yeah, yeah, did bring it back. Yeah, social. Yeah. When he brought the chipmunk yeah. voice in, when he started yeah. fucking mm, with the vocals, mm, he brought yeah, it back from the gangster like, shit. The, the sure. early show of like Jigger, that's probably like the first like little influx of like vo- like pitched vocal samples. For and, like, sure. All that sort of shit. Yeah, even like um, on the fucking um, volume two. 1998, like anything, you know, like you know, like the hard lock, like when he, they started pitching up the yeah, shit like that, and then he started going the chipmunk stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Even that shit was he hard. yeah he did bring all that back, but he's yeah he's I think he's the best at oh, I don't even know I think he's he the best at it, bro. He, he was a you've got like the OGs and then you've got him. He's like the. He's the best middle ground. He's, he's the, the best. Bridge to yeah. the new people. He's the, the ultimate success rate of fucking, fucking yeah. placements, bro. He's the one who did Unreal. it. Every album, bro, five at least five fucking singles. Mm. Right. He's a, he's he amazing, bro. Shit before fucking old mate was. He's too good. He's too good. Is that his name now? Old mate was. <laughs> what you got now? Four. Well, no, nah, I don't want to say their names. I don't want to yeah. trigger anybody. You got four, four, and five. <laughs> four and five. Four and five is more like recent times. Would be hip boy. Yeah. Like Timberland and Pharrell. That it's probably way more. Back in the day. What well, from yeah. Hit Boy? Uh, so many joints, though. Probably the first Hit Boy. I like the new Hit Boy, but like the first Hit Boy, you know, he, how he had that era on Lock 2011 tour. Where, where was Goldie in that? Where was Goldie in Goldie. that? Yeah, Goldie, bro. That, Goldie's fucking unreal. Yeah, that's probably the, might have been the beat that I heard, like, discovered who he was. Paris and shit, but. I don't know, bro. There's a bunch trophies. He did Bad City as well, late for Kendrick. Yeah. I don't even know freestyle. who did trophies. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Like yeah. Freestyle. Yeah. That is crazy. He did bro. the whole album. Because he didn't have like a tag back then, eh? Nah. Bro, Burden so of Prayer. I loved it, though. I loved it. Bro. Because yeah, he was like the old, old school shit we didn't have a tag. Because you couldn't get the tag on it. Like, yeah. On a song at that level where you're not putting your tag on a Kanye song. Yeah, that's true. His Fuck man, his work, on the, his work on the throne really put Yeah, his stuff yeah, on the throne. Yeah, too. Yeah, what, that was, yeah. Because yeah. that's yeah. when Kanye was like, this dude's the next, Yeah, he's yeah. the next one. Yeah. And for him to like touch so many things on that album too, bro. Especially like such a big album with two big people with already a big fucking like following and like big producers already reading. It's the biggest like, album. Like, the, 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 the other boy, was, the other boy is yeah. number it five. Was, eh? It was, it stopped. Yeah. Right? The other boy is number five. Number five was Hip Boy. Oh, number five is Hit Boy. Oh, sorry, no, number five is Boy Wonder. Sorry. Yeah, number Wonder. five is Boy, Boy Wonder. Wonder. Yeah, I thought Shout out Boy Wonder, Wonder for real. That's oh, hard, bro. I don't know. It's, you can't hit me with that question straight away. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but he's got so many though. Yeah, like yeah, it's on Drake stuff. It's, bro, it's, it goes way oh, back. It in my opinion, back. to me, he has better shit than what Drake did. Forty does. To me, I, I think yeah, so too. Yeah, oh no, yeah, I, I mean, I feel like it's made more with Boy Wonder though. Boy Wonder makes what? that hard shit. Forty makes that, that driving and that shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Boy yeah. Wonder makes that like five AM in Toronto and all yeah. that kind of shit. But stuff. that's just that's but that's the shit that Drake challenged himself the most to though. I feel. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, cause I feel like for sure it's bars, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like to me, five AM in Toronto. Anyone say Drake can't rap? I just play that song. Yeah, bro. That melody on that joint is crazy. But I mean. Starts I'll, I'll talk about actually you know what I'll talk about 40 after we go through because we, we still got two more two more uh, bills and, 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 yeah, yeah. and then we can because heaps. mine everyone's already kind of talked about anyway yeah. so like no order but this for me is preference like this is stuff that I'll play and want to rap to yeah. you know pressure's what I mean? on yeah, yeah. like early 2000s or not early 2000s like late 2000s was like heat makers yes like, just blaze absolutely like, just absolutely like just that whole even like freaking uh, like Cool and Jay and like Justice League, yeah. all those. I used to like grab all those beats, bro, and try to rap to them and that. Like, so that I feel like everybody's like, done that too, bro. Especially yeah, like, oh, those sure. guys, man. And shit. Mm. Yeah, hard like old Rick Ross stuff, and you have to have. I mean, Kanye have to, uh, Dre have to, mm. um, a, a producer that I, that I like because of the stuff he, he done with Tech Nine is um, freaking Michael Seven Summers. Yeah, I know he is. I've yeah, never heard bro. of him. I know he is. He's hard. Bro, he's hard. Made, he made heaps of te- Tech Nine's old stuff. Yeah, his best shit too. Yeah, yeah. bro. Best shit. Okay. Crazy. Yeah. Is that right, what you would recommend for us to listen to? So tech which, nine which old Tech, tech nine, nine shit yeah. though? What records though? Oh, yeah, give like us some records. Already. Give us some records. Yeah. Oh, of of, really? your, of your five, already. give us some records. Of so my for like For people that say, all right, where do I go from here with like Just Blaze? What would you say? Oh, bro. 
Or like for I your phone. When I was younger, oh, all I heard was oh, like, oh, just blaze exactly on every hip hop beat, bro. Oh, but that's heat hip-hop makers. Don't listen to yeah. That's heat makers. The old boy shit. LeBron's mixtape was. Oh boy. Bro, didn't he do, um, did he do, um, Hey Mr. Carter? Did he do that? No, I think that was just Blaze. Frick. Oh, nah, I, I thought think it was. Well, anyway, Lord knows. Lord knows is, yeah. That's that beat is insane. Hell, and then when it yeah, switches bro. with Rick Ross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, yeah, yeah. he, fl- like, man, and 40 man. comes in there. Eh? Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> it does his but part. Yeah, nah, nah. See, 40 is <laughs> up there for me too. In your five? Because 40s, 40s switch ups. Oh, I don't know. Gee. I do like I don't 40. know about in I do my like five, that. but like. He's well, get like there, five bro. engineers, he'd pr- he'd be up, oh, yeah. he'd be yes. Up there. I agree. I agree. Because I there. couldn't name another four. Yeah, but he'd be up there with Guru. <laughs> yeah, and... <laughs> yeah, Guru. And that, yeah. Oh, yeah. like mix Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, mix my Ali. Ali, 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 Guru, Dre, Forty. Yeah, Dre. Uh, Dre for sure, Dre. Yeah, there's some Alex. underrated engineers. <laughs> <laughs> there's Alex. Khaled. There's Alex Tumay who um mixed Young Thug's latest YouTube. Yeah, latest Khaled. He, he also mixed, um, what's his face? Oh, Drive Mike Dean? Sorry? Oh, Would yeah, he be true, the last true. one? True. Who is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mike Dean. Yeah. Oh, Mike Dean. That'd be, yeah. that's oh, the guy in the top five. His place kind of speak for themselves. Bro, Mike yeah. Dean is and one Kenny of the Beats. baddest. Kenny Beats. Kenny Beats. Whoa, Kenny. Kenny Beats. Kenny Beats. Whoa, Kenny. Yeah, uh, I like Mike Dean, yeah, for sure. Bro, he was, he's Travis, he was Travis Scott's live band. He was Kanye West's live band, bro. Everything he did was amazing, and he touched fucking so many Kanye West albums. It's actually fucking ridiculous. He's a G, bro. Right, right. Without like, it's just crazy. What's, well, that's what's why Rick Rubin's like goated. Yeah, that's why Rick yeah. Rubin's goated. Yeah. My top five, um, number one, the RZA. No, it has to yeah. be Three. number one G. And then the song would probably be. It's a hard that's one. So that dude's catalog is insane. Um, <laughs> bro, probably fucking. Healthy, uh, Mighty Healthy by Ghostface. Just because that, that song is so hard, the beats so hard, the raps are so hard. Like That's one just for the, just for the heads. Uh, number two, Kanye West. Beat would probably be... Um, my dark beautiful... Nah, I can't say that because it was... Healthy. It's too mainstream, bro. So, uh, it would probably be um, Gorgeous. Yeah. With Kid Cudi and Raekwon, because it's got Kid Cudi and Raekwon on it, and the guitaring is crazy. But that was helped by Mike Dean, so I can't really say that. But anyway, that's probably going to be the one. Number three, Rick Rubin, just because of what he did, how he made Def Jam. Um, he touched, back in the 80s, he had Run DMC, he had Slayer, Beastie Boys. he had the Beastie Boys. Sure. All signed, all yeah, signed. Yeah, said. <laughs> bro, all signed to the fucking same label in the 80s, so he had the best of fucking every single world. He fucking has helped with Kanye albums, he's produced fucking Slayer albums. To the point when they'll finish the album, send it to him, or they'll finish a song, tell him to come in, they'll leave, he'll come in and be like, yep, nah. Change this. He's so clean with it too, like, Rick Rubin. Like everything that he does is like loud and clean. Like, and I don't he understand. That shit in his fucking <laughs> in his college fucking dorm room, bro. Like yeah. without him, we wouldn't have anybody. Yeah, probably, he's a mad scientist. So probably four would be mugs. Oh, bro. Um, the song would probably be Puppet Master. Who does he work with, bro? I'm uh, not familiar with him. Oh, uh, DJ Muggs is like, he's... Cypress, uh, Cypress Hill. Hills, Cypress Hill, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. And he taught the Alchemist how to make beats. Yeah, he made, For yeah. real? He was yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. when the Alchemist was coming up, um, Muggs and Cypress Hill were big. And um, fucking Alchemist was just like the little the little follower on her. And like, bro, um, Alchemist used to get dropped off at hockey practice by like Be Real and shit. Yeah, bro, that's the little shit. Mugs is a legend. Yeah, like bro. Mugs, Mugs and the song legend. would probably be Puppet Master <laughs> featuring Dr. Dre and um, Be Real. That shit was super hard. Or any of his new shit because pretty much he went from doing all this OG, like, dusty shit to doing this, like, weird dubstep phase and working with, like, Diane Wood and shit. And then now he's back to doing that dusty shit and he's working with every single, like, Dope rapper that's coming up, yeah. like every underground rapper, he's like, given he's them got songs, crazy beats. Like he produced a song, and it's like Westside Gun, Doom, yeah. Doom, Cool G Rap, like um, fuck, he just dropped the joint with um, Crime Apple, yeah, like Colombian, and he raps in like fucking Colombian, but he's like super fire, boar head, beard, I fuck with him. 
Um, I can see. Yeah, that's that good <laughs> shit. So, so, is that four? Yeah, that's four. And then five would probably be Mad Lib. And then the song sure. would probably be um, Sounds of Tomorrow with Doom on the Mad Villain album because it's got Mad Lib as Quasimodo, the pitch voice, like the beat's crazy. I honestly don't know if it's produced by either one because half the album was produced by Doom, the other half was produced by Mad Lib. Bro, oh, I'm just gonna say it's mad. You know what's crazy? Like, I have a mate. His name is Travis. Shout out Travis P. Oh yeah, I bro. Love him. He's got a, this collection of vinyl, and it's this Quasimodo vinyl, right? And oh, this, is it the body. It's the body, bro. Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. It's, and it's like so dope. That's like adventures and something with Quasimodo, yeah, bro. It's, yeah. it's like die cut out, and it's got yeah. like his insides and shit. Oh, it's it's not the inside. It's the yeah, actual it's the cut out of yeah the cut out of that um white thing yeah. that figurine or whatever. It's so hard. It's and, like, so the funniest dope. thing is like because Mad Lib is Quasimodo. Yeah. yeah. And the funniest shit is that like Quasimodo. I'm not gonna say the N word by the way, but um Quasimodo. Uh, they asked Mad Lib. They're like, who the fuck is Quasimodo? I prefer Quasimodo than Mad Lib. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. he was like, what's the character? He's like, oh, uh, elf looking N word, smoking a, smoking a cigarette. That's how I see it, and I'm just like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like with Mad Lib, bro, like he's done shit with Freddie Gibbs back in the day. Doom, like sure. him and Doom jumped off each other. They're living in the same house, only fucking producing, smoking weed, producing peanut butter. Bro, balls. he's one of Kanye's Signed mentors. Him, bro. Yeah, I no swear, idea, Mad Lib, like, JD. Bro. That's Kanye's mentors. Straight up. But there's a docker no on idea. YouTube out with like what, what did you no say, peanut butter nuts. wolf or whatever. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Like, 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 ton. Ton. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good bro. One. Check out this. Uh, uh, Portuguese, it's a fully sample. All of the samples of Portuguese. Mad Libs on on YouTube. Oh, is, I, that the, yeah. is that the jazz? Yeah. Thing well, it's like drums fucking and amazing. And it is amazing. Full, and then I think it was that one, and then he did a full another jazz album, and he actually like learned how to play or like fucking made a full jazz. Oh, no. He made a full jazz album with samples. Yes. Which is so hard. Which, it, bro, he's fucked, bro. He's unreal. Yeah, Mad Libs unreal. Yeah, like... With, with that, bro, like, I just got to give fucking Mad Lib his fucking potatoes, bro. For sure. Yeah. So that's everyone's, that's everyone's top five. Would you yeah. put, like, how would you compare New Jobbies to Jay Dilla? Would you put them close to each other? No, yeah, they're close. Say? They're close. New Jobbies. Um, they're the two best lo-fi beat makers ever. For sure, Who? for sure. New and Jobbies? Q-Tip's in there somewhere. Who that is? Is, is, is he Japanese? He's Japanese, but he died off a of car crash. Yeah, he, he died, yeah. He makes sort of similar stuff to Jay Dilla, like low fi oh, jazzy. No, send me that. No, nah, bro, check it out. Like he's one of the goats. He's one of the oh, goats. Bro, but he yeah, died. Yeah, he did. He DJ Mustard. Pretty much, pretty much. Oh, <laughs> honestly, bring back Whole Lot of Eleven by Travis Scott. <laughs> bro, bring back Travis Scott and fucking Mike Danger. <laughs> oh man, I guess that was a lot of that was, that was a lot of game. That was a lot of game for the viewers. That was viewers. a lot of game. Yeah. Do your Googles and shit. Yeah, you're yeah, yeah, comment, comment on anything. Yeah, comment on I'll any... Uh, comment Gene your own argue. top five, for real. Yeah, comment your own top five. Yeah. Yo. But um, yeah. I guess we should just go who we think right now is like currently, you know, getting that catalog. Erringer. Yeah, that's my boy. Getting that Erringer. catalog that's, that is like really... Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, so like to be top five, top yeah, five, currently, you know what I mean. Again, top five, nah, top five, top, we can't do top five. Nah. We'll just do top five, names. but I have a feeling that like Wheezy, hey, Wheezy, Wheezy, Wheezy yeah. is sort of like Wheezy, Alabama. Wheezy, yeah, Wheezy's pretty hard. Yeah, he's like taking over like the trap game, right? Like the rap <laughs> game, the, you know what I mean? One of the one of the newest, but he's been in the game for a minute. G, like straight up, Matt Noble. I honestly, platinum and gold producer. Don't, don't do that. Like, and what did you mean? There was a like contradiction I'm at the start. I'm How did you start that around. sentence? I'm not fucking around. <laughs> the newest. Up. Big dogs on it. G, straight up. I appreciate that, bro. Bro, you're doing it. Look what you're doing. Yeah, you are doing bits. That's what I doubt. I appreciate that. I'm doing bits. Got my OG PNC shit that you showed me like a while ago to like new, 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 new shit, bro. Like, going off that though, what would be your best advice to like? Up and coming producers, you know what I mean. Um, fuck knows, bro. Yeah. <laughs> can't say that. That, that can't some, be the answer. That, that is to, some great. No, I don't know. Advice. Yeah, work you hard. have to work hard. Wash your feet. Yeah, Wash your feet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. I'm still yeah, honestly, yeah, it's hard though. Yeah. It's Do you hard. reckon it's consistency though? Definitely consistency. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Gotta keep doing it. But consistency isn't like just consistently 
doing the doing behind something. the scenes yeah, work. Yeah, 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 bro. You don't have to be consistently getting placements. Yeah, and for you sure. S- and you still can't do it half by. You gotta have a catalog. That's all you gotta have, bro. Because everybody has like you go to LA. And your resume. All, yeah, all the yeah. all these kids got catalog, bro. They can beats all day. Yeah, beats the, don't have to be good anymore, the, bro. Uh, no, 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 beats no, don't no, have to yeah, be good yeah. anymore. Oh, yeah, yeah, they yeah. just have and to su- fill the sup, like fill the. Yeah, but that's like you know, take that. It it's sad to say, but like good beats are still. It good don't need to be beats. polished. Day eh? it's like 50, like 50 second ideas. Yeah, bro. Not yeah, super yeah. mixed. Yeah. But yeah. you, yeah, bro. but you, uh, like as an artist though, you probably like it's like, let's say you're trying to paint a picture. It doesn't have to be like, bro. You have to no, but let's you just say you're trying to. Yeah. If you have an, al- if you have you trying to cure an album, picture. you can't yeah. be a, you, like you can't really move solo anymore either. Really you need yeah. to be. Yeah. Everyone is like collaborating. Yeah, and That's it's true. like you see songs where it's got like, I think uh, that all day song cool. by Kanye had twenty three producers. Wow. Yeah, I see really? That. Yeah, That's yeah, a lot. Yeah, or had that. like it got nominated for a Grammy, bro, or something, and it had like yeah 20, 23 credited people on the song as writers. It's a lot of people, bro. Yeah. So yeah, you definitely can't like you can't do a solo, but you end up having a yeah work with people with split bags and yeah yeah yeah. But it, it pays off, though, I think. With oh, the, hard. With so, the, uh, that's uh, what I'm saying about Kanye. Said it's the pie so good. is better than no pie. You yeah. know what I mean? You, in terms of have you done a thing with like um, have you done a thing on like I know you've like helped on like albums and stuff. Have you done things <laughs> where you've had another producer in the booth with you and you guys are like bouncing off each other? Or yeah, like you've had stems and you brought stems in, and then both you know, the producers come in and then like just like yeah. chop them up and stuff. Both. Have you ever had, oh yeah. yeah. And How yeah. do you like that? Do you like that, or do you rather do it you and the rapper? Or um, I don't know. That's not producing anymore. That's different. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's engineering, bro. That's yeah. more of an engineering question. Making beats is like that. That out of it. Oh yeah. Because that's what you're. That's what you're judging everybody on. It, like when you say Weezy, no, you don't know his engineering level there. Eh? Like, sure. No, I think all. I think Weezy only like you don't know what he beats. does in the room, mate. Eh? Yeah. Seems like he just makes beats. I don't know. See, I don't even know if he mixes his own beats. Yeah, is I, there if I could, I would send them off and get them mixed by the like get the best engineer to mix them, bro. Honestly, I'm not trying to like mix my own shit, you know. For sure. Well, I, li- I was listening to Fushai Ste like for just today, like the very first time, mm. and I ha- I hate that I like it. You know, I haven't uh, heard it. I haven't heard it. I saw the name. He's like, he's like Gucci Mane back in the day. Bro, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. It reminds me of my more poly Gucci Mane. And he shoots people, bro. <laughs> Which is a plus. It's hard, bro. Which is also hard. crazy. Which is also hard. Bro, you guys hard, G. I'm Which is a plus. Yeah, yeah, that's choice, man. He should have been, been on Back in Blood, bro. Now, honestly, he's dirty. Like, going back, but going back to what he was saying, like, Beach doesn't have to sound clean. It just has to. God's Plan is like the biggest song of the year that it came out. And it's like a loop, bro. Who's this, bro? God's plan. God's, God's plan, plan, yeah, hard. You know what I mean? Eh? It's yeah, like, you don't know where to start. But who's that? Cardo, Ka- eh? Cardo's hard, bro. That's an art in bro. picking what is going to be hard, even if it's just some, one thing. Yeah, there's an sure. art in... There's, taste making, there's eh? an art in doing the, the, the least as well. There you is, know? bro. Yeah, yeah, it's, like, it's simple, not basic. There's a difference, you know? Yeah, simple, not basic. Yeah. And now you should put that on like, a t-shirt. And now he's on, like, a lot of fucking... Drake songs from like pretty much yeah he is a laugh now cry later is a, yeah. was a massive one and I was just bro like the craziest thing is is that I was just following him on Instagram I don't even know how I was following the cunt and then all of a sudden he's like <laughs> he's got this like he's got this like Grammy yeah and he's like standing with Drake and I was like what the fuck yeah. What did you do? Yeah. It's like, Oz, like, is it Oz? I was like drunk. It's like Oz. Oz. Yes. Oz. He's done like a bunch bro. of recent Drake joints. There he did Grease and whatever came out of the same time as Grease. True. But he's got like this fucking crazy Royce and shit. Yeah, one. all white. Yeah, 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 yeah. T minus is another one. T minus actually. He touches yeah. a lot of shit too. Yeah, yeah. Okay. A too is Swing like pools. coming Who's, up. You know I mean? Yeah, yeah. Who Swing is pools. your With favorite or your most? Oh yeah, let's go favorite. Um, like double double header. So like rapper artist together. Yeah, yeah. rapper yeah. producer. The Wait. Good pick. Like a yeah, the rapper artist duo, like the dynamic duo. They can do oh, that. That's both. Like the, 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 the Dre like Eminem. Does both. Yeah, the oh. yeah, like, yeah, like like Doom. <laughs> like oh, oh, yeah. well, both well, producer well, and well, artist. Yeah, yeah. Producer and artist. True. Yeah. Okay. It's hard, bro. That's someone who does both. That, yeah, that yeah. That, yeah. that that makes it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's someone who does both. There's a lot of them that I probably you probably wouldn't realize, but yeah. There's a lot of them. Doom Doom is obviously yeah Doom is obviously like he doesn't get as much credit for his. 
producing, which bro, I he think deserves a bouquet d- of flowers. Yeah, his yeah, producing what about is Russ? insane. Huh? Can you just fuck it? Russ, bro? <laughs> honestly, bro, fuck oh, Russ, bro. bro. Listen, he's, man. He's on, yeah, bro. Honestly, bro, he's on with like the yeah, business he's shit. Knowledgeable, he's but he knowledgeable sucks, bro. Words. And he went at like fucking every South song sounds the same. It was fire. Fuck him, because no jumpers. And he played in the crew league, bro. He's like four foot nothing, and he's got a team full of NBA players. I don't like Russ. Listen, you man. don't like Russ. I don't Wait, you listen to Russ. Russ. I went to a show. Like. I don't like Russ. Mrs. Russ? thinks Russ is cute. I don't like Russ. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's <laughs> okay. We don't like Russ. Like, you like, you think more. this guy's like Russ? I agree. Any artist you can think of. Yeah, yeah, he's cute. As he's talking about... Like, As he's talking about half the industry's brocade, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, you're like, and you're like in the industry, and your girl thinks he's cute. <laughs> <laughs> right, like, ah. But nah, funny. also I don't like Russ. It's just corny, bro. Yeah, in my yeah, opinion. For sure. too. Yeah, but he's yeah, he's smart. doing his, he's doing business, bro. Yeah, he's smart. I'm, I'm glad he's successful. Yeah, but um, I've never heard a Russ song that I thought was good. Put it that way. I don't there's know. some good Russ songs, bro. No, but, but, good, like, yeah, you know, I, I, I think they're they're they're, they're, they're sonically. They tick boxes, but they just don't do anything. Like you they just what's that? What you want? That was a good song, and that's about what you it. want. What's a good song? Yeah, that's about it. Song after that sounded like what you want. Yeah, yeah. You can play all the songs. No, nah, it doesn't need to do melody, bro. The thing is, no, don't. The thing is, he has a big catalog. Like he has mo- like um the the track that uh the one that he has with Ross. It's that like whole the album is real hard. It's like talking about Fifty Wop G. Like nah. every song starts sounding yeah. the same. Like I'm not the I'm not the deepest in Russ's catalog, but he does he does have like Who the fuck would go deep in Russ's catalog. Uh, he, he does have he does have range. Kids, I'm gonna give bro. it like it's, it's we can't deny like it. He made it I, I know like he gets numbers in that, but like he doesn't make music for guys like us at all. He does make music for kids, and he does make music for teenage girls. That's that's I mean, a fact. He, he he put he put out that project with with Chomp, and he and he got some rappers on there. Like no, he did. He got, had Black Thought on there. Yeah, but it's like, bro, I could, it's but it's it's fucking performative. It's like, Ooh, who's the hottest MCs? Let's put them on. Like, bro, you're fucking corny. And, it's just and you make weak shit. But who's, who's, who's shit, and hey, all you've this got is other rappers. You got other rappers that have had yeah, but who's big, that big on tier, there? Big tier rappers, and, and they've actually stepped their fucking game up. All of them are out rapping you. Yeah. So why? Like, <laughs> yeah, but then who's Definitely that on? That like, so rapper, but why, why yeah. do that? Why Where's he do from? That? What's his city? From New Jersey. Oh, yeah. He's an Italian from New Jersey. <laughs> oh, is he from New Jersey? Oh, he's completely from Atlanta now. Does he own his city? He says uh, Atlanta. Does he own his city? Is that his city? He doesn't own shit. No, he says he's from Atlanta. He says he's from Atlanta. Joe Budden does. Joe Budden's the king of New Jersey. Joe Budden over Russ, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's not even a question. <laughs> yeah. Stop that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he pumps, New Jersey he twerk it up. is the king of New Jersey, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm strapped in. <laughs> <laughs> I could clap you in the car. <laughs> gee, when he pipes up, G. <laughs> oh, my Fuck God, that dude. Wow. Surprised he's had a stroke or something. Bro, he goes I'm in, man. he's not like Conway right now. Whoa, man. Man, that Bell's palsy is no joke. Replay that, bro, when you can. No, don't do that, G. Cut that out. Yo, (laughs) Conway's coming for you, bro. No, because he's my favorite rapper. Conway does that Australian tour, man. He comes in and shoots you in the back of your head. Shout out Conway. You're getting tattooed on my leg. Shout out Conway. Picture of it didn't happen. Huh? Photo of it. Nah, he did us well. I bet this dude. Oh, he's going to get chopped, bro. Hey, what's that? Is he going to get young chopped on your leg? No, 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 he's gonna Conway. get Conway. Oh, Conway. Yeah. Wait, wait, what were we saying? Uh, like, uh, rappers, producers. Who, like, who's your, who's your pick for, like, who's your oh, Kanye. Oh, yeah, Kanye. 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 We got Doom, we got Kanye, we got RZA. Yeah. J. Cole. I would say... J. Cole, oh, J. Yeah. Cole. Underrated, really underrated nice producer. Yeah, sure. I just like to, I'd like to... I'd like to see him produce for someone else. Though. Me too. I think so too. I would say Travis Scott, but I don't think he produces stuff. That's actually a good one. No, That's a really Travis good one. Travis Scott did it, like... When he was like super hungry, like yeah, I, I I'm gonna like, do someone guys? that isn't a rapper. Soldier boy, I'm gonna do something. <laughs> I'm gonna do something that isn't a rapper. Soldier boy is the um, very first, the first one who did it. I'm gonna do. No, pie, yeah. I'm gonna say pie next door. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. 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 yeah, you do that. Then you gotta go like, oh, you gotta go like, uh, uh, Harris and shit. You know what I mean? Hey, you gotta say like, that opens up because like. Nah, you gotta keep it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once you leave that round, because if you leave that round, bro, now we're talking like. Anybody? Well, I mean, Michael you can Jackson, go Big Ghost, yeah. Mark Miles <laughs> Davis, and shit. Skrillex, Prince. Yeah, Prince. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, did he already do that? Oh no, that was off. I think that was off air. He did that whole. Thing. I don't know any others. There. I know Hip Boy does. His Hip Boy's thing. nice. Yeah. Hip Boy's nah. actually nice. He's a good pen. rapper. He's actually yeah. a good rapper. To me, I mean, you gotta go like Daz Dillinger, DJ Quick. Bro, Daz. You gotta go. Yeah. Bro, Daz is nice. Warren G, you have to go. 
Yeah, uh, Warren G. G. What about oh, Dre, bro? Warren. Dre. Dre, come on. You know I mean, how he's like a G dominant, shit. like, bro, he doesn't rap He doesn't yeah, write yeah, shit, though. Yeah, he doesn't write yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, but he's like, he's on all that shit. That's still hard. Yeah, it's still hard. I mean, I actually think M's going to be in that. True. Does he produce? M's produced some, yeah. M's produced some big joints. Drake once produced a song. Who did he? Drake, he produced, um, what song? Fucking Problems. Did he? Yeah, he produced fucking problem. What? Yeah. With Ace of oh, Rockers, though. Oh, do you yeah, think yeah. it was just like a thing at the time where he's just like, yeah, you know, maybe. Like, that so was it's when produced Ace by Rock- Drake and Forty. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, 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 hey, yo, yo Forty, do this melody here, right here. Drake win. And then you If you take that one credential, he takes that box. True. And then the plays the local sap. He would. Hard. No, there's plenty. They just they just go under the radar. M- it's, M- so hard. That, it's so hard to like justify that too and like there's so many people but the fact that we've said our top our top producers they're those dudes too sure. I well, mean Rock so Marcy good. Rock Marcy's gotta be in that oh yeah 100% but then, Marcy with Rook? Him, but then with like Rock Marcy <laughs> some, of shit, some, of, some of his shit Marcy. drops but then most of his shit's fine. wait who, who, are you, yeah. who did you say no, he can't be hit and miss yeah. but I'm saying like his raps are always hit his yeah. beats are sometimes hit and miss. Yeah. For sure. Then, when it when it hits, it's like, oh shit, yeah. this is immaculate. That's why I just want the Derek to rap. Because yeah. I feel like his beats are so hard. Yeah. Surely Who's oh, bro. Alchemist. <laughs> Alchemist, do I rapper? Yeah. Who's called yeah. Like, the Alchemist came with fucking rapper's ass. You can rap. Have you heard yeah. of Oh No? <laughs> yes. Serious. Yes. Bro, yo, how have we not even spoke on Havoc? Gee. Oh, yo. How do we. Yo, that's Gee, crazy that we didn't even. Why doesn't Primo rap? Surely oh. he's smart enough to do that shit too. Did he? Hey, Royce. His voice Royce. Sounds Royce. Yeah, Royce, Royce made producers too. Yeah. <laughs> well, going off of that, like we, what do you reckon is the, the underrated pro- producers of this generation? Or even underrated. all time. Underrated, yeah. I'll say Kenny Beats. So they have to be established there. Yeah. yeah. Kenny Beats, because yeah, I feel like... Be right, that, Vince, that Vince Stables album was crazy. Even that Key album was crazy. Bro, mm-hmm. Harry Fraud. Yeah, Harry yeah, Fraud. Yeah. Yeah, uh, nah, nah that's that may be. He might be all time no, underrated. He doesn't get his bananas. Though. He's all time underrated. Right. He doesn't yeah. get his yeah. potatoes. His potatoes. Um, yo, that's that's how you know. I mean, underrated. look, which was underrated all time. <laughs> 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 you can't even rate him. <laughs> 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 no, you know, you're underrated. What is it? What's that dude's name? Hold up, dude. Hold up, dude. I can't remember. Yeah, bro, this guy said underrated. Bills has to look him up on the phone. Yeah, so Google is net worth and shit. Little guy that doesn't rap over beats, eh? <laughs> no, oh thanks. wow, wow. Nah, look, Swizzy's got to be in that. Swizz, for sure. Oh, Swizz, 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 Swizz was close to being in my five. But so he, I don't he think. Be, I don't, bro, he's like the new Diddy. He's good for the last one as well. Whatever. Bro, the possible. beats are crazy. Nah, bro, yeah. The beats nah, are crazy. He makes fucking insane beats. Yeah. Swizz, look at that fuck. And he has that signature bro. sound. No, but he just said he's like Diddy. That's that's no, he's not like Diddy. No, the fuck he's not. But bro, he talks. What does that mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Bro, bro, I like I like Swizz's talking. Bro, 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 he's shit. Bro, mouth. Showtime. Bro, this I love this shit <laughs> though. <laughs> but this guy. But it's dope. Showtime. Bro, what is the difference? It's dope. Between, uh, but what's the difference between him talking? Bro, what's the difference between him talking or RZA talking? What? What's the difference between him talking or RZA talking? Fire. Yeah, but does he talk? So on beats that he produces? It's no, me, snitches! The only time he talks is over fucking... Um, the only time he talks is over Protect Your Nick and he introduces everybody. Facts. Look it up. You're welcome. Still, I think Swizz... Yeah, to look Tell to him me. that's good. Nah, Swizz beats, Swizz Swizz beats, beats hard. is up there. He he's is up hard. There. Don't sure. get me wrong. He is hard, but like he's... Yeah, he's not one of my... Top. Look... I mean, right, no, but we're, we're talking, underrated. We're talking about underrated, though. We're not talking about yeah, we're talking about yeah, underrated. Oh, yeah, 100%. Oh, sorry, sorry. 100%. Bro, he yeah, doesn't underrated. check up on it. Yo, yeah, underrated all time, uh, Pete Rock. Yeah, yeah, and he's not hey, talking on that. Yeah, Pete, Pete Rock, Rock without sure. a doubt. Pete Rock without a doubt. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah Pete he's Rock. not underrated, though. He's huge. Yeah, he's underrated as fuck. He's underrated. He's goated, and people don't give him that. He's the king of hip hop remixes. Nobody has better hip hop remixes than him. Yeah, Nobody. but he's huge in he's, uh, he's huge in like the 90s. No, he's, <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> he's, nah, he's still gets overshadowed in that era though. I feel like he still gets Even overshadowed. Even in the 90s yeah, he wasn't getting the love though. Yeah. Yeah. Large Professor, all of them bro. I'd say under, underrated. Like, I could probably Large Pro is definitely underrated. Yeah. But then, of course he is. But then he's only underrated to like new heads. Lord Finesse is underrated yeah. as a producer. But there's only to new heads. I feel like under. No, these are old time. Like these guys have classic records. Like, And people don't 
Yeah, that's why we. They're like, oh, it's the past, and that's why I'm saying they're underrated because, like, yeah, let's not forget these dudes. You reckon? You reckon it's because they're from a time where it's it's from a time where they couldn't get their their flowers because, like, maybe maybe there wasn't enough audience. There wasn't enough like um, what's the word? Exposure. Um, yeah, not enough exposure or like connections to get not connections, but like things to connect them with the world. No, I just think like these guys don't. I mean? These guys don't care about fame. They don't. Yeah. They just. Oh, they just yeah. want to get their money and do their thing and make. Yeah, yeah. At the at the end of the day, too, we're talking about like in every era. There's gonna be giants that just dwarf some people. Yeah, so yeah. There's gonna be the case. And it's Prem Prem. standing next to these guys. Is, yeah, he's yeah, gonna make Prem. people. Look like, there's small. always gonna be. There's always gonna be talent that just. JD ju- is gonna make just people look dwarfs small. what other yeah. people do. That's why underrated so easy. Underrated, bro. Fucking. Of course he's underrated still. Did you figure it out, Bills? Of course he's. No. <laughs> All right, so this That's is our guy. If, if, you, if we were to put a triangle for oh. the all-time, all-time best producer, producer who would you get put in a triangle? Oh, man. I mean, I think... Soldier Boy. Bro, there's, there's one person, there's one person in, this, in all of our selections Kanye. that is constant. It's Kanye. Kanye, for sure. Yeah. That's he like, has to be there. you know, that's a given. For real? For real. Yeah, I think the the most common was like Timbo. to me. Yeah, Kanye Timbo. Pharrell Timberland. Yeah, yep, those two. And it's crazy because Pharrell and Timberland like are pretty much like it's just way too it diverse. Back, reason though, it's just way way reason too diverse. Because, bro. Yeah, no, but it's because of how like you were saying how diverse they more, are, yeah. versatile. Sure. Like they they touch every aspect. You know what I mean? Like you can't True. just say, "Oh, their beats are just suitable for it's this." Nuts, or their beats are but just it's also that. like they just they just tap into who they work with, like on a level. No yeah, one, like, like everyone. 100. With every other producer, we said, uh, you know, to a degree, they have to, like, kind of tap in with the producer. Like, that, it's, no, a, it's, a, it's a mesh of that, whereas, like, I feel like with, with those three producers, they tap into who they're working with. They're not sending out beats like that. Yeah, they're, like, yeah. in no. sessions, bro. Yeah. 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 They're, like, yeah. with, yeah, yeah, they're like yeah. living with that artist yeah. for a month. Not just really like, I reckon that's, that, that's yeah. what's so like, different these days is that anyone can just send beats in their, in their oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I yeah. guess that's... I was just trying to figure out what's the difference between a producer and a beat maker. And it's probably that. Like, a producer's actually going in and really building a sound out for for that artist. Whereas, sure. like, a beat maker is going to... Beat makers is going to yeah. just... Yeah. Flick things off. Yeah, a beat, a beat makers anybody. is just going to, like, make the beat that they want to yeah. make at the time. Well, okay. And then whoever, it's like, the comes first them. You don't become a producer without first being a beat maker. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. But you yeah, gotta, well, yeah, but it's like, gee, got any beats? But then, you know, I don't. Like yeah. Bro, there's just, like, there should be no knock between a. Bang. There should be no knock between a beat maker or a producer. No, like, no, I don't. No. Th- I me, don't see it as any different. Like, to me, the next me step either. is: can you create a body of work that has a With development in taste and yeah, then, then you become a producer straight away? I think that's, that's how you. Be, that's how you have to become a producer. Besides a beat maker, I think the next step of being a producer is like from a beat maker is like when you sort of. Open up and invite other people into your sessions, like. Session musicians be like, look, I can't play this, but I know somebody, and yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you know, getting yeah. looking at like, yeah, like the yeah, production yeah. credit goes to you, and they get writer credit, whatever. Exactly, they're not like you know, that's still production, but yeah, it's your, for sure. But I your don't think this whole thing, saying what I we're think. saying is no noctus beat makers. No, like, there's no, you've got no. people that no, are like, that's the essence. You've got people like that's Cymbaland sense. that like um, seen fucking uh, when Justin Timberlake walked in the booth. Mm. Walked in the room, he knew a certain feeling, and then, mm. and then he gave what? him fucking um, cry, um, cry me a river. Yeah, and then he sung on that, and there was like a whole fucking crazy feeling. Scott in Storch that. was not mentioned that? once. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's how we yeah. yeah. Scott Storch was too much coke. But that, no, but that's what I was saying about Dre. <laughs> that's what I was saying <laughs> about Dre. That's a lot of coke. But make it all right. Scott Storch had mad ghost production on Dre shit. Yeah, yeah, that's that's yeah, a fact. Yeah. I, I mentioned well, Scott Storch. The whole Miami, the whole Miami. Nah, he didn't get a mention at all. Underrated. We're talking underrated. Scott Storch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's proof. Without a doubt. Cool and Dre as well. Scott Scott Storch, Cool and Dre. Bro. Justice League underrated. Justice League, yeah. Bro, it was, only bro, it was listen, mentioned. We could go deep in the bag. We could go fucking Crisis. We can go Ninth Wonder. We can go Ninth, oh, ninth Wonder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I bro. still have a Ninth Wonder kit yeah, in bro. my drum kit. Everybody yeah. has that too, bro. Exactly. Little brother as well. Bro, Little, little brother, brother is my shit. Gee. First of all, Young G. off the back of what we said last week, Fonte is the number one most underrated hip hop urban music artist of all time. Period. The number one most hold underrated. Up. All it's right. gotta be true because I don't he even raps. Know this shit, I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody fucking talks about him. He raps better yeah. than your favorite rapper, yeah. and he can sing better than like most of the R and B motherfuckers on the radio. And Drake, he can rap. He can sing way better than Drake, and he can rap 
No one sued. Okay, I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna cancel that with um fucking organized noise. Under what fair amount? What? No, organized noise. Um, fucking the ones that produce oh. all of fucking dungeon click shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're the most yeah. underrated group. <laughs> They're the most you underrated artists. <laughs> they all rap. Fucking Sleepy Brown sings. Yeah, but none of them rap better than Fonte. What? Yeah, but they don't. Wait, but Fonte they did birth. They did birth. Right? <laughs> right, Fon- <laughs> no, Fonte I'm old. No, Fonte, Fonte came out. I'm talking about Ty name, Fontaine, Fontaine, bro. I know the How name. How do you not know, bro? We talking oh. about Partisan Fontaine or? <laughs> <laughs> this is breaking my heart, bro. Are we talking about Fonto Lee? <laughs> this guy said Fonto. That's my Fonto too. <laughs> We're talking about party or? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Nah, I know, I know he, I know he's talking about. Man, look at Fonto, bro. I'm not, I'm not, yeah, I never, yeah, yeah. I never, how do you spell it? I'll never dive in. P H O N T E. He gets it, bro. P H. Yeah, bro. Right, you find it, G. You'll find it. You'll know. I'll bro. never dive into a subject where I'm only familiar, like not mm. familiar Man, enough. Fonte is that motherfucking dude, bro. He's the number. What about like local producers? I don't even know it. I don't know many local Listen, yeah. If you go down that route, I don't think we should talk about shit we don't really know about. Matt, yeah. Matt, Matt Noble. Gene. Gene's got some fire beats. Our dopamine was... I mean, 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 honestly, dopamine is my favorite producer. On Wax, Liam Thomas is the fucking goat of this shit. Hey, you fucking... He's got some fire producers, bro. Yeah, Smokey got beats. Smokey's... Where's Smokey from? Goat teeth. Actually, Smokey's like... Yeah, bro, ghost? Shout out ghost bro. with like dark shiners and shit. Yeah, sick drums. Sick drums. Sick drums is like sleeping in Sanson, bro. Like bro. chilling, yeah. not worried about it. Bro, P Money? Bro, sick, sick drums is the very first Sick drums is like fire and ice, bro. That I'm like, yo, you should do this. Fire and ice, Sick drums and Smokey are up there. They're up there, up there, I'm just saying shout out ghost and shout out Jids, bro. Good to see you out. They're the homies. You know, Jids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out ghost. I would even even say um, I am solo. Yeah, yeah, is, it, yeah. is he writing more so? Or? Um, nah, I think he produces. He too. produces oh, too. Worcester. Worcester, Worcester yeah. yeah. I just love his transitions and you know, all that. You know, like all this EDM. I need to get busy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get also, busy. Shout out sure. I gotta go. Bro, underrated producer, bro. Who? Foony. Oh, yo, Foony, yeah. Foony for like the EDM shit, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Underrated, G. Straight for up. Sure. Or even like freaking in New Zealand, bro. Like. Face killer and physic for a freaking colorway. Oh, spell. Like, now this oh, heaps, spell. Oh, this heaps, oh my yeah. gosh, bro. I feel bad because I'll leave people out. Yeah. Bro, P Money. Montel. P Money. Yeah, yeah Montel. Montel. Yeah. There's yeah. too many, know. bro. Yeah, bro, Montel. Yeah, I definitely say if anyone's going to like really, like I, I always said shoot. the produ- I always said the producers were like, they're going to be really the ones that break down like the scene here. Like they're just their talent. Like their talent, the ta- the, the producer talent here is super, like exceeds the artist yeah. talent here. Wait, wait, wait. Who's the dude that made like P and C's beats? Matt Miller. Miller. Matt Miller. Matt oh, Miller, bro. Yeah, yeah. His beats are. I don't know. It's still like a, bro. like there's no like there's a completely new market for producers, bro. And it's new in the states, kind of thing. Like you know, it can be a big producer. So that's not the same thing here. Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah. Eh, for sure. But you know, people. I don't know, man. You have to have. Uh, catalog, I guess. Well, yeah, like you said, yeah. like you said, like there's a lot yeah. of producers that like. That's what you're basing it. it off talent or their catalog. Not many people have a big catalog, yeah. Oh, like, Woolstar does and Six Jump does. That's why they're like, yeah, yeah, for sure. yeah, yeah. That's why you give them their like. You know, there's but people who are like mean. Levine's fucking hard, yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, Levine, yeah. like talking about he's Levine Lale, bro. Yeah, he's got some crazy shit, bro. So, yeah. Have you heard him sing? Oh, bro, he's yeah. I've, if, if you're talking about underrated. Artists in Brisbane alone. It's too would, hard. It's too deep to get into us, I'd say. I would definitely say Levine, bro. Like, I mean, everybody's underrated. Dude. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for yeah. sure. Nobody's rated. But the, fact, yeah. the fact that, like, with the music scene too, like, sort of here, I feel like that we have some dope MCs and stuff, but I feel like there's more, like, we have a lot of, a lot, there's a lot of times when, like, the production, like, Outweighs heavily. It's the potential is like different artists. because, bro, any artist can be like, "Yo, give me a beat," and the beat could be crazy, and they're like, "Yeah, that shit's hard." You pay top dollar for it, and they rap, and the rap's like subpar. That's why you don't. Yeah. That's why you don't sell exclusive. Yeah, that's like I guess not, that's not exclusive to like the Aussie scene. That's everywhere. Yeah, that is. Everybody's everywhere. got a shit. But, some, some but shit I feel like with us is like we're more hungry, and we got. Like, I guess he, what he says makes sense. Is like how many artists in 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 Oz New Zealand really deserve like a beat from. From sick drums, 
But they or, all do. Uh, they all do. Like, anyone deserves a beat from anyone. I can give you a beat right now, dude. Yeah, nah. they got to split hard on it, though. But nah, but, like, like, it's, like... Bro, there's been a couple of times when it's just, like, surely, like, as a producer, like, you know, not, like, you, you, Gene, like, surely there's been there's been times when, like, you've seen a beat to someone and you've, and you've heard the rap back and it's, like... Gee, have you ever worked with someone... Bro, you can't do this. I'm an Change. engineer. Bro, I would. He's still no, 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 no. <laughs> This is my living. This is not This is not after here. the career tell all. Okay? <laughs> no, gee, I'm, I'm, I'm trying like, to protect my butt. <laughs> he's mean, he's like, active <laughs> out here. No, We're gee, trying to get yeah, sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me who it is. I just want to know yes or no. Have you worked with someone where you've made a beat for them and then made a song and it's been put out there and you're like, no, you, damn, like, bro. Really? I'm talking like heard of, I'm talking like heard it back in your site. Yeah, of course. Like, definitely SoundCloud days. Nothing yeah. probably on Spotify, but oh, definitely yeah. on SoundCloud. <laughs> no, well, well, I think for me, for bro, yeah, but like, like yeah, Spotify, you know. Is it SoundCloud? You should get beats out to just yeah, anybody. I beats out to SoundCloud. Bro, I saw this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? No. <laughs> 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 definitely me, none of your shit, bro. I feel like a song is never finished, though. You know what I mean? And that's why I always feel like, damn, I could have done this better. Yeah, but that. I don't like, know. Yeah, I know what you mean. But, I mean, I think me and Matt, like, said it as well. It's like, for some reason, what's his, what's his, once it's up on DSPs, it feels finished. Yeah. It, you, don't it, yeah. You, know you don't think about it like it's an unfinished yeah. thing anymore. Just let it go. Let it's let not it go. finished until it's released. That's my motto. There's one child, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's one sure. child gone. Sort of For sure. Oh. One child's grown up. Well, I feel like everything you've dropped, though, has been crazy, oh, yeah. bro. And it's yeah. really smart. Like, I feel like you, like, what, Six crazy. Degrees is pushing out, bro? Like, it's like on some, like, fucking TDE, like, super smart, like, chess shit. Like you guys aren't dropping like a lot, but it's like enough to be good. And do you, do you guys great. just feel like you're still just starting right now? It's just about to take off. Oh yeah, hard. You know what I, mean? I think like you still got you still have that hunger. I think that's the most important thing. Is like, well, that's huge, bro. I feel yeah. like that's huge in fucking Brisbane because like you talk to people about like you, uh, bro. I talked to this. I was at like, this music video like fucking a few weeks ago with like Lazy Eye and shit. To shout dude. out Lazy Eye. Yeah, shout out Lazy Eye. I was talking to um, Pix, bro. She's a chick that plays like, she sings, she's a producer, she plays like guitar and shit, bro. And I was just like, oh, um, rattling off names. She was like, oh, do you know Six Degrees? I was like, yeah, they're fucking bro. So like, you guys, you guys are known, bro, from like one side of the spectrum to like the other. For sure. You get what I mean? Mm. And you guys deserve it too, because you can't fucking work hard, bro. Like, nice. Shout out to Six, shout out yep. to fucking the bro, shout out to everybody that's fucking... Yeah. From the aquarium to this, bro, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah we were talking about it last the week. Aquarium the aquarium. Fire, bro. Yeah, dude. yeah, bro. That's funny. <laughs> Super hot, no aircon. Yeah, bro. Hit the roll, roll, oh, yeah. up. Oh, on the podcast room, we didn't have a- AC, but the other one did, I think. Yeah. That's just that la- yeah, that last video was. That's hilarious. But yeah, I think it just definitely. It's just definitely. I don't know. It feels like just the beginning, really. For sure. For sure. What made you guys want it to get? A bigger space. Matt. <laughs> yeah. I was Maybe like, so. I was nervous as when he said this place. Yeah, bro. For sure. I was hella nervous. Hey, I remember when you showed me. There's a lot of work. Bro. It was like after one of our basketball games. Yeah. We went to freaking, what's the chicken spot? Uh, 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 so be straight. Yeah, so Shout out, so be straight. Bro, the wasabi Shout chicken. Out, so be straight. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken. Just 50% off from oh, now yeah. on yeah. After, after, chicken, after the mention shit. on this yeah. podcast. 50% yeah, off we for so life, straight. please. This dude showed me photos of this place. Yeah. And I was like, damn, Yo, this is crazy. Go back to Nibbles, though. What? No, nah, yeah. Go back to Nibbles, flats. You can uh, pick flats it. Flats only. Flats only. <laughs> you can get it. Yeah. <clears throat> now, this guy, this guy, we were at the last space and he was just like, yeah, we need a bigger space. I was like, all right, cool. But when he showed me this, I was like, man, I, Bro, I didn't I didn't realize it was going to be this big, you know? Bro, this is like five times the space, or even oh, yeah. seven times. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Well, like, the last space was Dude. two two rooms, and, like, like, it was almost like one and a half studios, wasn't it? Like, we didn't really ever... But this one is, what? I don't know, five... five 480, yeah. Yeah, like, five five studios. Oh, shit, it's 480 square meters. It's fucking huge. It's yeah. like a, a lot. Yeah, five yeah, studios, we, we, one psych wall, one live lot, room, two offices. <laughs> Crazy, bro. So it's like to go to upgrade that much was was a lot. It was very sure. daunting. How did you find? How did you find this place? Was it were you just like looking? At was it like looking for this? No, no, no. We we're looking for our ideal situation was like if we could get 
the same spot, but have downstairs as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that was what we wanted oh, to yeah. do. Oh, that was the, that was the, up, that. the upgrade like was just one more. The, the upgrade was yeah. just like was one more level. Yeah, they were like, they were like, oh, the next think, minute, I think maybe they might move out. If they yeah. move out, we'll ask. Oh uh, yeah, and and actually, then. the original was next door was leaving. Yeah, right. They were yeah, moving yeah, out, yeah. and we were like, gun store. We were like, oh, we'll we'll take we'll keep up upstairs here, and then we'll get next door. So then we have like the. Like, like, oh, we'll put a door at the top. Yeah, yeah sure. and we'll, like, yeah. we'll build, like, we'll cut out the back door. But then, obviously, I don't know, you came you came across this This was place. literally the last, like, listing on, when you look up warehouses, like, I was looking for commercial lease space, but it was, like, the last page, the last thing, and it was this place. It was just right. Benjamin. Yeah. Like, this has got to be. Yeah, and it was already a music scene. Yeah, I remember like, yeah, when we walked in, and I was like, geez, this crazy. is a lot. It was, like, it was... It was like the the best skeleton you ever seen. Yeah, but it was like had so much work. Out, you know what I mean? Walked in after it was. Bro, when we came in, it, when we came in, it had like it was like abandoned, bro. Yeah, like it was abandoned, with, yeah. with all the like they were like I guess evicted. Like the, the yeah, that's crazy. Part. So oh, I've been told that because obviously this studio space was a, it, it's not like we did this from scratch. It, it was it was an original yeah a music studio. So like when we came in, it was it was a mess, bro. It was nothing like what it is now. Even when I first came here, it wasn't like this. Like with this renovation, it's actually yeah. Looks I think every time someone walks in, especially if you only come in every couple of months, it just looks yeah, better and like, better. Oh, damn, yeah, sure. this happening, that happening, yeah, bro, for sure. and a lot of that, a lot of that like is to do with Matt and all all the work he's put in with like the vision on executing the aesthetic of this place. You know what I mean? And like when you said, you know, I want to like figure out how six got built, like in terms of, like. Aesthetically and like sonically and all that sort of stuff. That, that's all Matt. So, For sure. You know Shout out I mean? Matt. Yeah. Yeah. Without that, man. Like, like, brick by brick here is what I tell everyone. Oh. It's still like, it's not, they're like, oh, you finished really? I was like, never finished really. We're yeah, always, we, we're talking like about it. This guy's talking about a second wave. level here. Yeah, plenty of time. Well, I was like, yo, we're paying for a squ- like cubic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, honestly. This guy. We're using half. Yeah, we're using like this high. You yeah, know, this like, I'm paying for all that space, bro. This guy's sure. talking about a second level. So like, a mezzanine yeah. is, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was the idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was like, yeah, cool, bro. Yeah. But, um, nah, man. Let's have this, this space, you know what I mean? In, in the span of a year of me being here, like, I've seen how much growth, like, six degrees has done, you know what I mean? Mm. It, it'd be sick to see like what you can do, what we can all do in like the next two or three years. Yeah, you know? And it's for and sure. It's, and and bro, it's, so it's an all star roster here, eh? For sure. Like so in terms of so much people. Who's in who's who's in this roof? Under this roof? Well, yeah. Or uh, Moon Boy just joined us. Yeah, yeah Moon Boy. Oh, bullshit. I was flexing oh. on like last week, like you know, having having tirade and having um, Moon Boy and having. You got Brayden. Um, you got Dimes. Gene, Brayden, Dimes. Yeah. You know, Steve's with the Connect. And yeah, just the, like, I mean, everyone, everyone in the, in the city's come through here in some way or another, either to like, um, you know, actually work on some material or promote something or be a part in, of an event. You yeah. Know? And it's, you know, everything's been like closed. It's like, we haven't even had like Sydney. Oh yeah. Sydney bro, cats that's the other or, thing. We had yeah, we, yeah, we, we, bro, COVID, or, COVID, what, COVID, what, had, really we, we, got, COVID. we got this and it was like, and Valentine's COVID yeah, came to be, COVID. bro, you know, and we're just like, for sure. It's yeah. It's the nuts. hardest shit is that you guys are still afloat, and artists are still hungry shit. to come through and make music, bro. During all these yeah. times, yeah. you know. Yeah. So shout out to all the artists that come through. Bro, yeah, for sure. Yes. Hi, and bro. I honestly like again, bro. I'm just throwing it out there. Like shout outs to fucking you two for the vision. Yeah. Shout out to Matt for fucking the brain to like push the shit, bro. Because like a lot of people talk it. But you're probably one of the only pe- like you're probably one of the only persons that I know that actually fucking walks that shit, and like fuck bro, Facts. you deserve everything that you fucking do. G, it's like childhood dream stuff, eh, bro. Mm, for you sure. Know what I mean? Like you, you, you can you can have bro. the idea, but if you don't have the execution, bro. Yeah, that's the main thing, bro. You work hard, bro. Straight up, just gotta keep the energy. Yeah. Like, hard. when you start something, you gotta keep the energy and see it through. 